Hey guys, my name is Simsy. how you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have episode 11 of my Eric Ten Hag Dutch Revolution. Here today we have the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League and we've been drawn against Sevilla, which is uh, a really favourable draw for us. We're going to be facing Anthony Martial, our former player, while PSG battle out Juventus, interface FC Bayern Munich and Real Madrid face Barcelona in El Clasico. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. In the round of 16, we faced Besiktas, obviously progressing, but now we face our former player, Martial. Uh, Sevilla looking good here in the 55th. Very limited opportunities in this match. Martial! If it was going to be any player to score against me, it just had to be that man there, Anthony Martial, came from France. The English press and Manchester United under me gave him no chance. He's gone down to Spain and, well, he scored against me again. 1-0 down. Need to respond here. Late in the 89th, United! With Kasper Dolberg saved the tie at home as well. We desperately needed a draw or a win. And, oh no, it was, it was Van Der Beek. <laughs> I thought it was Dolberg. Oh my god. It's 1 1. Great goal there by the Red Devils. I thought it came off Dolberg, like clipped him there, but it was Donny Van Der Beek. Out of nowhere. A goal from the heavens! It's 1-1 at Old Trafford. Good. We're still in this tie. It will complicate things. It will be difficult to go down to Spain to try and win it, but we're in a better result than we otherwise would have been. And that's how the match ended. A 1-1 draw against Sevilla. Still more Champions League football to come here today, fellas. All right, back in the Premier League, we're going to be facing Everton. Frank Lampard's Everton are currently sitting in sixth. That's a hell of an achievement. Obviously, relegation form in real life in this career series, they could very well secure some European football. Without Donny van der Beek, though, they're doing okay with Deli Alley on that left-hand side. But let's get stuck into Frankie D's. Everton, let's go. Away at Goodison Park as well. It's always a cracker. Sancho. Van der Beek to Mallon. It's taken until the 43rd minute for Manchester United to get in front. And it's thanks to that man there. Our January marquee signing Mallon from Borussia Dortmund. Goes and celebrates with Eric Ten Hag as we go 1-0 up just before the 43rd in this Eric Ten Hag, Dutch Revolution Rebuild. I love to see the Dutch players and the new faces around the club rising to the occasion. And we've gone in front of a sixth place Everton that are fighting valiantly for every single win, every single point in this Premier League campaign. Because they know if they can get Champions League football, they can save this club from potential bankruptcy. 1-0 up. Everton looking for the equaliser. Deli Ali, El Ghazi. The Blues go forward and it's Decore. Uh, late in the second half. Decore charges through the midfield. An absolute brute. An absolute bulldozer through my defence. And the Toffees at Goodison Park have tied things all up. 1-1. Frank Lampard put some respect on that man's name not having the best of time in real life of course but in this career series he is dragging Everton to draws and victories and gaining points left right and center through and through and that's how it ended a 1-1 draw against Everton wish for a better result to be honest right let's get stuck into the second leg of the quarters as Barca beat Real. Inter looking good. All right, we're going to go away to Sevilla with Karim Benzema, the top goal scorer, followed by Mbappe, Neymar uh, up there as well. But let's get stuck into Sevilla. Here we go. 
Let's go, boys. Graven Birch. Oh, big save. Corner kick here. Can we somehow find Raphael Varane? Ball in. Oh, and it's gone into the back of the net. From the corner kick, United take the lead. Two goals to one, thanks to Bruno Fernandes. From range as well. Rafael Varane is the target and the, the main corner kick man because he's conceded, uh, can scored two. But it's taken Bruno Fernandes back down in his home of the Iberian Peninsula. Oh, somehow. Puts it top left as well. An unlikely player to score from a set piece like that. Like, how often does he score from a corner kick? It's kind of insane. As Julian Lopetegui is fucking furious on the touchline. With Bruno Fernandes scoring 2 and 10. The captain steps up for the Red Devils. Let's go. The quarterfinals is still well and truly alive as Van der Beek in the 90th minute makes it 2-0 in this match. A whopping 3-1 on aggregate. And the Red Devils are without a shadow of a doubt going to claim the semi-finals in the UEFA Champions League. And we're slowly but surely this season etching towards that elusive Champions League trophy, that Champions League final. So who's it going to be against? Let me know in the comments. Could be against Barca. Could be against Inter. Bayern. PSG or Juventus. It's going to be interesting as we have gone down to Spain and absolutely drums Sevilla 2-0, which is fantastic. And here are the other results as well. Wow. Back in the Premier League after 31 games played with three points behind Man City. Chelsea fourth, Liverpool first, Spurs fifth, Arsenal in seventh. Back in the Premier League, let's play this match against Norwich. We're going to be hosting the Canaries at Old Trafford, who currently sit in 14th. A potential relegation side. Hopefully we can give them, uh, give them a battering on Old Trafford. Let's get things underway. Mallon, the Red Devils go forward, Van Der Beek, Anthony, goes all the way, on the 45th minute there as well, we've gotten the goal in the first half, and it's thanks to that man there, Anthony, who has really, really stepped up, since coming from Brazil, all the way from Ajax, and he has been an absolute star-studded winger for United. They've smashed that one past Krull. Dude, that guy's ancient. How <laughs> is he still playing football? Pretty good Dutch goalkeeper, actually. Maybe we should sign him up. Second half now. United looking to push in advance on that one-goal cushion, that one-goal initiative. As Gravenberch looks to create something. Finds Donny, who somehow sneaks it in cheekily. And this guy is just simply put a goal scoring machine. There's not much he can do wrong. As United lead two goals to nil against the Canaries now. Fan bloody tastic. Donny van der Beek. Stepping up once again. The dude has been notorious this season for scoring. And he scored another. Away down at the Stretford end. Let's go, BB. Another Dutchman on the scoreline for United. In the 60th minute, no less. 2 0 up. Norwich looking for a consolation goal. Okay. They're leaving this last hurrah, this last charge a little bit late. But we've got to switch on, boys, as we've conceded a really crap goal late on. Mm. Should have done a bit better than that. Great curling effort there as well by Norwich. Varane comes flying on in, has to make the acrobatic attempt but let's be fucking honest you should have been in position you shouldn't have been caught you shouldn't have to make that huge lunge 
As I'm assuming this guy's Polish. Placeta. Score 6 and 14. Just need to hold on here. Graven Birch. Sometimes the best form of defense is attack. As Jaden Sancho has been released. One on one. Can. No. Yes. Converts. Oh my god. Sancho nearly fluffed that one up. But it's okay. Because never fear. The Viking. The Great Dane. The descendant of Ragnar Luthbrook. Kasper Dolberg is here. Making it 3-1. Look, not going to lie, things look pretty scuffed. Things look pretty fucking sketchy there with that Norwich goal. But United have managed to etch their way on through. 3-1. And that's how it's going to end as well. I've not got enough time. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching this match. In the 90th minute, the ref's about to blow the whistle. And we're done and dusted. Well, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 11. Stay tuned for episode 12 coming out tomorrow, where we continue on with this Eric Ten Hag Dutch Revolution Manchester United series. We've nearly played every single match this season as well. There's only a handful I can count of, of simulations. But, yeah, we've still got the Champions League campaign to go and the final days of the Premier League, and we've still got an FA Cup to battle for as well. So all incredibly exciting stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel as always, and I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members, Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C, and White P. My name is Ben Simsey. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.